title was, of the presentation is about hunting for 10x, and I think 1000x is a lot more fun. Okay, interesting to see thousands X on things. Could you please share us more color on the development or uh, the timeline of applying this uh, technology into real world? And also, when do you envision that the agentic AI should be significantly portion of uh, NVIDIA revenue? Yeah, just one quick question. I don't see you mention the Chinese competitors like Tencent, Huawei, Alibaba. Do you know anything about them building their own chip in China right now? Do you think how long would it take for the gigawatt uh, data center to the terawatt uh, giga, uh, data center? And also, uh, how long would it take to break through the technological limitations and the to build the manufacturing capacity that enough to build the terawatt AI data centers. And is it possible that if you reach that point, the AI ship would become commoditized? And that we may have the volume, but the price might be uh, much lower than what it is now. Follow the future. สัมมนาการลงทุนครั้งยิ่งใหญ่แห่งปีพร้อมกับทีม Win the AI Era s i s the Alpha Survive the Bubbles ที่จะพาคุณรู้ก่อนเห็นก่อนลงทุนก่อนพบกับสุดยอดสปีกเกอร์สของเมืองไทยและระดับโลกทั้งหมดนี้อันนั่นใน8เซสชั่นสเข้มข้นที่จะเปิดมุมมองใหม่ของเศรษฐกิจ AI และหุ้นศักยภาพ10เด้งที่อาจเปลี่ยนชีวิตคุณไปตลอดกาลซื้อบัตรได้แล้ววันนี้ที่ซิปอีเวนต์ Um, I personally had a 13x with Amazon and a 40x or more so far with Tesla. So um, I think we should just start with this question. When you're talking, I want to talk to you about NVIDIA. NVIDIA, the AI hardware company. So today in the world, NVIDIA is growing largely because of AI data centers. And the largest AI data centers are approaching one gigawatt. They're not at one gigawatt yet. So that's the threshold. Where are we today? We're approaching one gigawatt in AI data centers. Where are we going? A billion AI chips, a terawatt of power from Elon Musk. Um, looking for terawatt hours by 20, 1,800 terawatt hours by 2040. Elon, the fastest way to bring a terawatt of compute online. A terawatt of compute you're not trying. What if we go from less than one gigawatt to one terawatt or more. That's when I say 1,000x. The market for AI hardware, the market for everything that AI is doing has the potential. I'm not saying it will 1,000x, but you can see very plain and simple, that's where you might get a 1,000x. One gigawatt to one terawatt, 1,000x, but there's a lot of potential problems. And thank you, Dollar, for adding this guy. Um, we have demand. Is the demand there? Is there enough demand that people will consume whatever it is that AI actually produces at a 1,000x scale to what we're seeing today? That's a big question. Supply chain, electricity, competition, regulation, geopolitical and investment. So let's start with demand. How much do you use AI? Will you use AI more? Do you know people who don't use AI yet and we'll start. There's consumer use of AI, there's business use of AI. Do you see how that might grow? I don't know the answer to the question. I know that I use AI all the time and I think other people will start adopting it and using it more and it will be more productive as it grows and improves. Um, electricity generation is a huge problem in the United States and Europe. It is not a problem in China. China is growing electricity generation very fast. Um, it's, Europe seems to be, they don't seem to want to have electricity. Um, America wants to grow electricity, but what I see in the United States government, and it doesn't matter whether it's a democratic government or a Republican government, is many different things getting in the way. So I think that's a very big threat to the growth of AI in America, and I don't think Europe has a chance of growing. 
Um, competition. So NVIDIA has, is the leading chip maker for AI. You have AMD, which is pretty competitive. You have Intel. I don't think Intel is very impressive. I don't think Intel is much of a threat. I think Broadcom is doing OK. You have in-house chips from Google, from Meta, from Amazon Web Services, from Tesla. Um, there's startups. Tens Torrent was founded by one of the guys who worked for Tesla, Cerebras. So what I see here is, yes, there's a lot of potential competition. But if the market grows 1,000x, can any of these companies grow faster than NVIDIA? Other than AMD and maybe, I mean, like Google and Meta and Tesla are building their own chips, but they're still buying as much as they can from NVIDIA. NVIDIA is really good. I think that something to be aware of is NVIDIA is just really, really good at making these chips, making them better, making them more powerful, making them more energy efficient. And like Tesla tried to make a competing AI training chip and gave up because NVIDIA is so much better. That's regulation killing technology in Thailand. We have regulation killing technology in America. Europe has regulation. Uh, there's, there's theories that 80% of what AI is going to do is already illegal in Europe. And then some people say, no, it's 100%. Um, you want to build electricity generation. How do you get approval for electricity? How do you get permitting? We've had AI data centers rejected by local governments in America. So that's a huge threat. Um, Geopolitical, Taiwan is really at the core of the supply chain. Europe has issues. They're at the core of the supply chain with the uh, ASML. Is China a threat to Taiwan and TSM? I, don't, I actually don't think that China is a significant threat to Taiwan. I don't think this is going to be a problem. But many people do, and I could be wrong. Um, and are there other geopolitical threats like what's happening in Europe and Europe's role in the supply chain or other places in the supply chain? Yeah, just one quick question. I don't see you mention the Chinese competitors like Tencent, Huawei, Alibaba. Do you know anything about them building their own chip in China right now? So I, I think that the Chinese competition is very real. I mentioned that they have electricity generation. So as far as I know, they are not making AI chips that are anywhere close to what NVIDIA is making. They're not making AI chips that are close to what Google or Tesla or the others are making. They're, they're making chips, but they're just not on that level yet. But I would say never underestimate China. If the Chinese government and the Chinese community decide to invest heavily, they can do it. But I will say this also. Follow the future. Team. Win the AI era. Seize the alpha. Survive the bubbles. พบกับสุดยอดสปิเกอร์สของเมืองไทยและระดับโลกทั้งหมดนี้อันนั่นใน8เซสชั่นเข้มข้นที่จะเปิดมุมมองใหม่ของเศรษฐกิจ AI และหุ้นศักยภาพสิทธิเด้งที่อาจเปลี่ยนชีวิตคุณไปตลอดกาลซื้อบัตรได้แล้ววันนี้ที่ซิปอีเวนต์